Hi there everyone, it's Jennifer here from Jennifer Biederman Jewelry and I've got a lot of stuff in front of me here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little bit what I've been up to. I've been making a lot of these uh, clay focal pieces to put in your beadwork and wire weaving uh, or anything else you want to use it for and uh, I'm making them for myself and I'm also making them to offer to you all. So I'm going to be presenting a little bit of uh, what I've been doing. So let me move all these fabulous, fabulous pieces out of the way. Um, now, I have been playing around with clay and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm gonna show you some of the pieces I made. Now this is one batch that I made. This is using the, uh, it's called Makume Gane Technique. And I use purple, black, blue, and white. And I did a little technique here and I made them in different shapes. This one, uh, this batch here, I sanded and sanded and sanded. And then I buffed and then I put a Renaissance wax on it. So it does, it's not a high shine but it's smooth 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 and with polymer clay once it's baked it's really hard almost indestructible um, and it has a very nice weight to it it's not like gonna fly away you know when you think it's gonna be light 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 um, I like heavy uh, pieces to work with something to hold on to and to make and when I'm wearing it I like to feel it now, when I look at these pieces, I, I see a story going on in here, but that's just me. I see all kinds of things happening here, like this looks like a bird on a wire and all kinds of different things. So that's one. I made another little square here, all using the same colors, but it just gives a little different pattern. I made a couple of hearts. I love this one. Everybody loves hearts. And a couple of ovals. And the thickness, it's a nice thickness. Um, not, I don't like flat pieces. I like to work with something domed. And these are great for wire wrapping or bead weaving or even bead embroidery. Now, this looks like some kind of animal coming out of a cave with some birds flying. That's, I just saw that just now. <laughs> um, all of them have a hole. I always put a hole through because wire weavers, they may like to anchor something and even bead beaters, you can, you know, uh, it's easier, it could be easier to bezel with the, with the hole. So these, this is these pieces here. Now, I have another batch, and I did a different type of finish. Um, I have a lot more of these batches downstairs, but here, I'm going to show you. A lot going on. Here's the back. This is using the... I mean, clay is amazing. It just surprises you as you go. I don't know what this looks like, but this looks really interesting. I may keep this for myself. And some gold. This I've used a, a gold leaf also in here. I did a different finish on here. I used the glaze, but I can see the brush marks here. So I'm going to do something different with this before I put it up for sale because I wouldn't want to put it up like this. When you see brush marks. So whatever goes in my shop is going to be perfection. Um, well, close to perfection. There's another piece. It's another piece using the same colors. A lot of things in, happening in these pieces. Now, the backing, I always like to use the same colors I'm using here. Okay, so here I have gold. So I put the bottom with a gold. So that's one batch. Oh, here, I have more here. So this is a different batch. I 
I wanted to show you on film so that, you know, because sometimes pictures um, can be not deceiving, but I just want you to see every little angle of it. Now, I'm going to show you another little batch I did here. Now, this I did with a different finish. This I did with a resin finish. I'm not done yet because you're going to see some imperfections here, like here. Uh, this again, I wouldn't put up for sale unless that's perfect. But this, this look what happened. This looks like a little person in a suit or even a mouse in a suit. <laughs> that's what I see anyway. Um, I, use, I, I painted this as well. The white is paint and then I, I put a little bit of a resin on top just to give it a nice high shine. This one I use black backing and of course there's always a hole here also I use the resin nice shine with this backing because there's some of that in here I love this piece see all the gold leaf coming out I love I love these colors here anyway I find they all go well together and this was using the same clay but look what happened like I said, it's like a story in every piece I can just stare at these all day now I want to show you one of my two special pieces here that I was so surprised when I cut it open. Now, to me, obviously, that looks like an elephant. And what this is, I used, just so you know what I'm doing. See these little, I made some beads here I want to show you. I made some little, um, uh, what do you call these, Easter lily canes, and I made some beads. I want to do something with beading with these and from these canes what I was left over I did a little technique okay uh, with that and this is a, it's called a Natasha bead it's basically doing a mirror image so I took my scraps from that and then I created this I was so surprised when this came out I just adore this I've been staring at this for weeks. I wanted to work with it, but I'm just continuously looking at it. I can't believe this elephant popped out. I might put it up for sale. We'll see. And then this amazing thing happened. With the same beads, with the same oh, uh, Easter lily cane I made, this is what happened. This looks like two people here with some hair coming up. That's what it looks like to me. And I'm just amazed with this one. This one too, I put a resin on top. It's like very nice shine finish. These are my two favorites. And uh, again, like I said, the beads I made, I made a lot of these. I made a, like a big, huge cane of these with different sizes. And I made some beads uh, with the uh, Easter Lily. I think they're so cute. And uh, I'm using these in wire weave also. I'm making earrings. I'm writing a tutorial about with these beads exactly. So I'm going to be posting that soon. And here's a, just a few little bit of work I did with my... Oh, did I show you this? Yes, I did. Oh, oh this guy. Anyway, I did some um, wire weaving with my clay cap, so I just want to show you what I've done. Uh, I did write a tutorial about this, and I am going to do a tutorial on this channel with this uh, type of uh, this weave. And here's another cab, a clay cab I made, and I wrapped it. This is another interesting cab. And here's a little wrappy on the back. And here's another one. And I added some man-made, not man-made, but machine-made beads here. 
These are little pearls, glass pearls. And this is a cap that I made. So you see, you don't only have to use stones in your, in your work. You can, uh, you can use clay caps and it's amazing to use. I like using um, everything handmade and I love, I love using obviously stones from the earth. Uh, but I like things from the earth. I like things handmade. I like things made by artists. And if you enjoy these caps, I'm going to be posting this on my Etsy site, also my website. My website is jenniferbetermanjewelry.com and my Etsy, uh, sorry, Etsy shop site name, now I changed it. It's Biederman Art Studio. Why did I change that? Because I'm going, I'm changing with the jewelry. I, I love making jewelry. I'm, I'm never going to stop. But I want to also art, offer other things um, like supplies and things that I make myself. So that's it. It's just a short little video that I want to show you what I've been up to. And if you're interested in these cabs, you can go ahead and purchase them. I'm putting most, all, actually not most of them, all of them on sale. So I'm going to give you the regular price and the sale price. Um, so I put a lot of work into these, um, for example, this, this, this batch here, uh, just took me about three hours. So, uh, if not more, um, so, you know, I sand them, I buff them, I put Renaissance wax, if not resin, I do all kinds of things just to make them beautiful. And, um, so that's it guys for this, this, not tutorial, but this little, I want to share with you what I've been doing. And I'm gonna be, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna be choosing one of these caps and I'm gonna be doing something with it. Whether it's beading, wire weaving, I will probably post a wire weave um, tutorial. I haven't done that in a while. I've been doing a lot of beading because I love my beads. Uh, with uh, So, uh, wire weave with one of these caps and I'm also gonna be doing beading with one of these, these caps. So, thanks for looking at my things and what I'm doing and um, thank you so much for all your support and all your wonderful comments um, your comments that you leave me that are so positive makes this all worth it for me to share what I love with you so that's it I'll see you at the next video see you soon bye